What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we're going to be taking a look at some new items at DLT Trading. Uh, something that DLT Trading is doing that every retailer should do because this is an amazing idea. Uh, they have this tab over here. You can shop new and you can also shop restock, uh, which is great because people hunting for things that go out of stock, like stuff that didn't used to go out of stock, like the 940 and like the Adamas, um, it, you know, stuff like that is out of stock randomly. Um, and you know, when it happens, like for a long time, the Manix 2 XL, which is available right now, that was just gone. You just couldn't get it. Wow, those have gotten expensive. But still, my point is, this is cool. Why is the DLC, <laughs> the DLC one is $30 more than the, <laughs> okay. In any case, it lets you know when, uh, you know, stuff is, is back in. Wow, even the Cold Steel American Lumber. This is not just DLT. Everything is more expensive now. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I really like this. And I checked. Those of you who, who check my community tab often have probably seen this restock page before. Uh, uh, Spiderco Military. Wow, those are 230 bucks. Lots of, you know, just generally... <laughs> pretty you know spider coats just seem to have gotten it's not just spider coat that's not fair everything is more expensive uh there's small events at 31 right this restock page is great um i would love i would just i think this is genius um and uh this would be something this is something that should be implemented i think on um you know like every retailer i'm going to link the restock page and i'm also going to link the uh, new arrivals page, which is what you're going to see right here, right down in the description. So you guys who don't want to sit here and listen to me talk can simply go to this page and do this for yourself. But for those of you who do want to hang around, I'm going to comment on a few of these items. Uh, thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me. There's a link for Patreon right down below. And please Make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. More RGT 8020.5 scales. These are interesting. Um, definitely a, a way to spice up the incredibly boring injection mold plastic scales that these are coming with. A few of you have gotten your hands on the uh, Knife Center exclusive K110 version or the fancy D2 versions. It's just D, it's, it's D2 made by Bowler. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, that's, you know, in my opinion, probably the, the better version of the knife. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're wanting to, you know, sort of bring the scales up to the fanciness of the K110 blade steel, um, you can pick up these RGT scales, which are pretty cool. There's also RGT scales for the Spyderco Tough, which I find interesting, and a random a couple of random sets of paramilitary two scales. Some kitchen knives, I, I wish I could give you any type of commentary on kitchen cutlery, I just find it uninteresting. Um, ancient Spring Zulu. Hmm, an ancient spring, it makes me think that there is a spring-like mechanism within the knife that is ancient. I'm sure that that's inaccurate though. Um, oh, oh wait, is that the brand? Yeah, I'm sorry. The brand is Ancient Spring. Oh, like Ancient Spring. Okay, like, like with water. I thought. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Um, I'm tired. 12C27. It's a slip joint. It's made in China. Okay, Ancient Spring. Yes. All right. Wake up, complex. Um. Anyways. Lanny's clip, J.E. made, J.E. made, okay, all right. I wonder if, hmm. it's very, very similar. It's almost like Ancient Spring is a budget, is Ancient Spring a budget J.E. made? I don't, I have no idea. They just look very similar. Um, more uh, J.E. made, they have, the J.E. made has a new Firefly model. Or at least I've never seen it. Lambfoot Swaybacks are back in stock. Uh, so that's cool. Moving on here. Axial Pinch Bar. Axial is that new company. Yes, here they are. In fact, right on the same page. 
the axial shift. Um, let's look at this one. These are US made. Let's find it. US made uh, dual action OTFs. Uh, and they're about eight, almost eight and a quarter. Uh, I talked with uh, somebody who had one in hand, said it's very similar, like closed. It feels a lot like the Guardian Tactical Recon 35. So it's not a skinny body like the. Um, like the Ultratech. But look at that price. Get out of here. <laughs> look at that price. 219 bucks. S35VN. Or, oh, well, that's why, because it's not 20 CV. Uh, <laughs> that that price is really good. It's that's that's really good. S35VN, US made and a dual action OTF. Aluminum and S35VN, 219 bucks. Um, I will be getting my hands on one of these and reviewing it. They look very promising. And I've heard so far only good things. Not just from the retailers, but people in my comments section who have these. They have worn clip variants, a whole bunch of stuff. So yeah, check those out. RGT Spyderco PM2 clips. Those are expensive, but they are Timascus. So there you go. Lots of lots of uh, different Timascus clips. Some monochromatic Timascus clips. Interesting. Wow, there's a whole bunch of them. Wow. Okay, moving on here. Some fixed blades. Gosh, I w you know, I'm sorry. Just, it takes a really, really, really interesting fixed blade. And I'm just not, you know, I'm just not interested in them. Uh, moving on here, some traditionals. What else? A few new Microtech Exocets. Really glad that they uh, decided to back off on the price. Uh, what was the original price? Like, it would definitely was way more than this. And I remember going, what? What are they thinking? They backed off. It's still definitely overpriced, right? They backed off from it, though. Some new Wayfarers. A whole bunch of new Wayfarers. I remember seeing these drop the other day. Um, these are, for the most part, I mean, I, like I refer to them as mid techs. A lot of people say these are custom. The 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 uh, Alamic Cutlery Wayfarer to me the is this surely this is a two four seven Wayfarer. Yeah, it's got to be. Are they just calling these the Wayfarer now? Yeah, the two four seven. There it is. Ah, uh, the Wayfarer two four seven was released in May of twenty sixteen. Yeah, so um. Those are there, a whole bunch of different ones. Um, some of them are, you know, all the way down into the, I say all the way down. Uh, this one's only only $495. But considering everything else has gone up, the base price of the Wayfair is staying relatively low. Um, I think they have come up a little bit. I think I remember, you know, a long time ago seeing them at about 450 something like that. But you can get a spicy one if you want, right? You can get some of these. More spicy variants. Whole bunch of new Medfords. Uh, Medford Praetorian Swift. Eh. The Proxima kind of looks neat, right? These are kind of cool. Um, I'm sure they are. I'm I'm positive that they are massively thick. I bet that's a hundred and ninety thousandths on the blade stock. Let's let's take a look. Um, yes, hundred and ninety thousandths. 8.8 .8 inches. How much does this weigh? <laughs> Till we're not going to say. <laughs> um, <coughs> a lot, I'm guessing. Look at that. That's a thick boy. Um, much like the Medford 187, I'm going to guess it's 100 and roughly. I mean, the 187 is 187,000 thousand I'm guessing that that thing is also, you know, similarly thick. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I drank a, I chugged a glass of water before I came down here. There are still small Sebenzas here. And I'm sure after this video, somebody's going to be made aware of a Bog Oak small Sebenza 31 and Raindrop Damascus and pick that up. Usually those go pretty quickly. So I would imagine that they are there because not many people um, know about it. Uh, this knife right here, I have become infinitely interested in. Now, I can't imagine many people own this because it is a $2,000 knife, $2,050. Uh, 
But <laughs> I know somebody out here, somebody, hopefully somebody watching owns this knife. Um, I would very much like to review this. I, uh, I can't bring myself to purchase it. Um, but if, <laughs> on the off chance someone's watching, if you have this and you wouldn't mind letting me review it, I'd really like to figure out what the heck is going on with this thing. It, it looks like a button lock, right? I mean, it has to be. Titanium Japan. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It looks really interesting. Kind of an oil slick titanium handle, something like that. Looks pretty cool. Um, yeah. People who are new are like, is he serious? He, he, he just asks his audience and he thinks they're going to send him knives. <laughs> Believe it or not, <laughs> that's how the last four years and 2,400 uploads have gone. Um, yeah, people do do that. I'm very thankful that uh, my viewing community um, is willing to lend me stuff. Um, they always get it back. But yeah, that's uh, the vast majority of the content is um, viewer. It's community created. Um, it's too bad about the SOG Pentagon. I've heard uh, so many not good things about that knife. Um, moving on here, Medford USMC, some more hatchets. I think we might be getting back to the pages where everything is, you know, familiar from a while ago. Finch, Lucky 13. There are still, there's still a Hoback Sumo here. Still, if you're looking for a Hoback Sumo, there's one here. Um, Heretic Manticores, there are... Um... <laughs> are these titanium scales for the Jurassic? Yeah. Okay, if you have a Jurassic and you're looking for titanium scales, they're here. Um, Battle Blue and Bronze. Stonewashed. Uh, blue. Uh, smooth Battle... Blue and smooth bronze. All right, there they are. If you own a Jurassic and you want it to be titanium, I mean, they, you know, they're here. Hindu Eclipse scales, Bradford Guardians, a whole bunch of them. Holy moly! What steel is this? They do a they do a bunch of different steels. Uh, M three ninety. Okay, now M three ninety wouldn't be my first choice for a fixed blade, but okay. Um. Moving on, moving on, moving on. A, a crap load of cold steels, all in a row there. Go on to page six. <coughs> I just, I, I, I had not done these for so long because we were doing the, um, you know, the uh, ultimate knife mods contest, and uh, so I thought, well, you know, there'll be a bunch built up. So, uh, Hoback Huskies. Uh, I don't know. Those are really thick. Did you guys know this? These are uh, the same thickness. Is that carbon fiber? Surely there's one in full tie. Carbon fiber one's cool, but like if I was going to pick this up, I'd get one in full titanium because it's already just insane dimensionally. Uh, yeah, the blade stock thickness is a quarter inch, much like the Medford Praetorian tie. That is a big, thick knife. <laughs> That is absolutely crazy. Um, Nitro V, weird, weird steel choice. I mean, okay, like Nitro V is fine. It's just interesting skill, steel choice. Um, these look awesome. Look at that. Uh, textured titanium scales for the Spyderco PM2. Pyrogrip, Pyrogrip. Those are beautiful. Very nice. I'm sure somebody will grab those if you don't know that they're there. Very, very cool. Whole bunch of PM2 scales. Gosh, there's a ton of stuff at, G at, at DLT right now. At least a ton of stuff that I just haven't seen. Somebody <laughs> snagged that, that gold class or these knives that are still coming. The mini Adamas and dark red. That's cool. The shootout looks interesting. Hmm. Mech Force. Mech Force. I hate these. Sorry. Sog Agus. Terrible. I know at least one person. There's more Hobax here. More Hobax Sumos. 
I know at least one person's like holding this right now. They're like, but I think it's good. It's okay. If you love it, then that's great. I hate it. <laughs> I think it's terrible. Um, we have Spyderco Capara scales. Spyderco Little Native scales. More Little Native scales. Lil. More Little Native scales. Uh, and then a case Tony Bowes HT Trapper. Hmm. I think we're probably, yeah, we're getting back to the point where this isn't really new anymore. Okay. Very cool. There is a ton of stuff at DLT Trading. Um, that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. We didn't really talk about the Olight stuff. This is a really good flashlight. Uh, or the this series of flashlight is really good. What on earth? Um, I have uh, something like this in my truck and I very much like it. That's going to be pretty much it today. I hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, the new arrivals uh, and restock page will be listed right down in the description so you can go and check all this stuff out for yourself. Of course, using my link does help my channel, so I would appreciate it, but that is entirely up to you. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.